I was always frustrated with myself when battery used to die, so I looked for something where I could make my energy storage device a lot better. So last year I developed a super capacitor energy storage device which can charge really quickly and hold a lot of energy. I used titanium dioxide and a conducting polymer called polyaniline. They always like to joke that nano engineers work with things they can't see, which makes them a lot cooler. <laughs> The Intel International Science and Engineering Fair is a, is a science fair held every single year. It contains 1,600 to 1,700 projects from all over the world. I was very nervous. I didn't know what was going to happen. From Saratoga, California, Isha Kuhare. And the click moment really was when the confetti fell from the ceiling. Then I knew that this is what I've done and this is what I have achieved. One of my favorite media opportunities was going on the Conan O'Brien show where I really got to have a lot of fun. He's a very fun person. This is the development, and um, basically it's a carbon fiber with um, different metal oxides and all these complicated materials on it that are very small at the nanoscale. Now you're condescending to me. Now you're like, <laughs> it's made of some complicated materials, Conan. <laughs> it's made of some magical beans. <laughs> They've never been afraid to be the only girl in a science class or to be the only girl in a research lab. And that's never been something to veer me away from doing what I love. If you have an idea, you just need to work hard to get it there. The most common response I get whenever I go to talk to someone about my idea is always like, you did that? You're only 18 years old. How did you do that? What is the effect of But the thing is, I've had mentors and professors who have been so helpful throughout the entire process. But I think it's really important to pass on my love for science to others. These kids have a lot of energy, a lot of passion. If we can bring that same energy to science, it will make our future generations a lot better. Okay, so I'm pouring some into this bag. <laughs> when I see kids, I see both the fun aspect of science as well as the potential to do a lot of great things in the future. And I really think that by inspiring them at a young age, they will get into science and just interested in continuing in technology. Yeah!